Welcome back to The Broad Niche, where we fully embrace the struggle to focus on just one thing. Today we're going to dive right in and learn how to crochet a foundation chain. Before we get started, we need two things. We need yarn and we need a hook. So get those together and we're going to start with a slip knot. The way I do it is I make sort of a long U-shape with the yarn and lay it over my hand so that the tail is on the right side and the working yarn is on the left. Then I put the two fingers of my right hand through the loop at the end, twist it over once, and then I grab the working yarn between those two fingers and pull it through. And there you have a slip knot. I'll do that again. I'll show it to you at full speed, just like that, and I'll do it again nice and slow. Lay it over your hand like this with the tail on the right. Put your two fingers in the loop, twist them over, put the working yarn between them, and pull it through. Just like that. When you're starting a crochet project, you do want to leave a nice long tail to weave in the ends. We won't be doing that today, but it is something to note. Now you put that loop on your hook, pull it so that it still slides easily on the hook and you've got a little space there. You do not want it too tight. And then we are going to start with a yarn over, which just means putting the yarn over the hook, bringing it toward you. So that's a yarn over. And then you will catch that yarn with your hook and pull it through to create a loop. Now when you first start out, that's usually the way you're going to do it. Just manually with your hand, lift the yarn and hold it as best you can and pull it through. That's the way most people start and that is totally fine. It'll be easier for you when you learn to control your tension which most people do by wrapping it around their finger like so, sometimes once, sometimes twice. Everybody finds their own way, but it makes it a lot easier to catch the yarn. So what we're doing here is it's a yarn over and we're pulling it through this loop. So what we do every time we do that is we're creating a new loop with the working yarn and replacing the loop that's on the hook just like so. And you want to keep it relatively loose. Just like that. Because when you start to crochet into it, if it's too tight, you'll have a really difficult time getting your hook into the stitches, especially if you work along the back like I do, because you need to be able to get your hook easily under these loops in the middle of each stitch. So we want to keep it fairly loose, not too loose. But let me show you what happens if you go really tight, which honestly is what usually happens when you're first starting out because you're just really trying to learn the mechanics. So you end up with something very tight, very pretty, Nice and even, but much, much harder to work into. You have to really kind of jam it in there. See, you don't really want to do that. So you want to keep it fairly loose, but even. And those consistent results will come when you're learning to control your tension. Now, you don't want it too loose because if it's too loose, it's going to look kind of sloppy and uneven and it'll make the edge of your project curl. So it'll be a lot easier to crochet into, but it won't give a nice solid foundation to your stitches. So that's really all there is to it to get started. It's just a yarn over, catch that yarn and pull it through just replacing the loop on the hook for as long as you need. There you go. 
that's it. That's a foundation chain. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If so, please like and subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos in this series, and I hope to see you back here at The Broad Niche. Take care. Bye.